Hello Vegetarian Beauties, welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I wanna say a huge welcome to you as well. Today's review is gonna be a collaboration with Malika Jaffrin on some makeup brushes. Now she has an Amazon store where you can pick these up. She also has a website and she's also a fellow YouTuber. So if you wanna see more details on these brushes, please continue to watch. We're gonna go ahead and get into these brushes, but before we do, I'm gonna just read a little bit about Malika Jaffer. Malika Jaffer is an international celebrity makeup artist. She has diverse experience, ranging from media, celebrity, fashion, and bridal makeup. These brushes are cruelty-free, they are made with synthetic, and they are super affordable. I also have a coupon code, but I'll put that later on in the video in the description. So here is the case it comes in. It is a fox leather casing with a nice little zipper on it, like so. I already used them, obviously, so they are a little dirty. This is a hefty, nice weight, quality makeup case. The brushes are as such. You do get a range of what the brushes are for and used for, and they also are labeled on each brush. So let's get into these brushes and my pros and cons and my thoughts on the brushes. Before I do, let me go ahead and show you a snippet of how I achieved this look using these brushes.
And now let's get into my pros and cons on these brushes. Now, I think that the brushes are well made. About two hairs came out of the foundation brush, but honestly, that's not like any other brushes. I purchase more brushes all the time. Now, obviously you see I have used the brushes. I've used them well. They're still dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them later on. I noticed as when I was using the foundation brush, I did experience like two hairs fell out of it, but that was the only brush that shed it for me. I also noticed that there was a smell, it smelled a little bit like leather cleaner, I guess because how it's made, but when you buy brushes, you're gonna clean them anyways, and if you just leave it out to air, that smell goes away. I don't smell it anymore, it went away. So as you first get it, it will have like a little bit of a smell of an odor as far as like the leather. I did have to do my eyebrows off camera because there are no spoolies or angled brushes in here for your eyebrows to get in those nice tight corners. So that was the only downfall for me. And there's really no lip pencil brushes in here, so that's another thing. So this is great for a beginner. I did love how the face brushes blended out more so than the eye brushes. Look at this, like I felt like the, the foundation brush blended out fairly well. And so did the blush brush and the contour brush and the concealer brush. Concealer brush, mm, a little bit um spacey, but I felt like it got into the corners like I needed to, with the exception of my deep set eyes, which are right here. That was the only con, but I could have just went in with one of the smaller brushes and you know, just packed it in here like so, and I would have got it. The foundation brush did cover fully without minimal streaks, or if any, and the concealer brush was a little bit blotchy, but not that much. The powder brush was great. As far as blending, the blendability, I felt like the I wish the brushes were more tapered so I could really, you know, blend how I wanted to, but they're for the most part, you know, pretty flat on the top. Almost like a kabuki brush. I mean, this is a little taper, but it wasn't enough just to, you know, blend out. This is what I was able to do, which is still good. I did like this eye pencil AP10. So it was able to get up in here and it blended out really well. So I did like this one. I also love the contour one. It contoured my nose like nobody's business. So that was this one. I did love how it contoured my nose and it got really in there and it left it like a nice sheer contour where it's not, you know, like in your face. So I did love that. So my overall opinion, I do think this is a great buy. It, it's a super affordable. She gears her product on being super affordable and I feel like this is super affordable and I feel like I love this. Everything is really hefty. You get a really nice strong zipper. I'm not sure if she has more brushes. I, I hope she does or maybe she will. As far as what I received, I feel like for the most part, these are more so on a line of face brushes than it was for eye brushes. The hairs on it was super soft. It was easy to blend. Yeah, so that's my only pros and cons. I did wish it came with more eye brushes. It did the job for overall what I wanted it to do. I wanted a simple, you know, natural day look, which is kind of hot. This is my day look. I don't know what your day look is, but this is my kind of a day look. So that was the look I achieved using these brushes and maybe two other of my own brushes. Look at that highlight though. That glow. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these brushes. I want to say thank you so much to Malika Jaffa for sending me out these brushes for review or collaborating with me for these brushes. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye. bye.